Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Anatomy of Therapy. We have a super uh, episode, bonus episode, where we figured we'd let you guys know who we are. Um, so we come up with some questions. Some of them, for example, John has an idea that I'm going to ask him and some he has no idea. So we're going to try to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, so he, John can't answer forever. I know he could. So we're going to start the first one, John. Actually, this is not even one, but what's your name? Where are you from, man? My name is John Thornton Sobolski. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm the oldest of five kids. Done. Nice. But you practice in San Antonio now. Now I'm in San Antonio, Central Texas. What's up? Okay. Question number one. What is, the, what is one thing you wish you knew when you started your career? Oh, um, I wish I knew, I wish I knew that I was going to love it so much because I didn't know that I was going to love it so much. I thought it was going to be a drudge and there are drudging parts, but drudgeful parts, but I didn't know that I was going to love it so much. Damn it. I have so many follow-up questions to that, but we have no time. Question number two, what advice would you give to someone someone just starting out their clinical journey. Remember how much you're going to love it in the future. Don't forget to remember how much you will love it. No, uh, it's going to be hard. And don't imagine that every single day is going to be beautiful and lovely. You've probably heard that before. Um, go along for Calm your expectations down and, and just be present with the person in front of you. That's what I would say. Nice. I like it. Number three, what is something clinically you previously believed to be true, but have since changed your mind on? Oh, wow. 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 There's, that could be the whole hour. Um, I'll say, man, probably I did not, uh, how quickly some things can change in the human body and how it takes a long time for other things, other things to change. And even though some changes can happen quickly in some people, those same changes cannot happen at the same length in other people. Love that answer. Good one. Um, number four, this is a doozy. Good luck. What is something you believe to be true that few others would agree with you on? It's from Peter Thiel. Oh, curveball and the off speed. Um, I, I think that the things you think motivate you do not motivate you i think the things you don't believe you think that you don't believe those things and those things are actually some underlying driving principles if that makes any sense a if lot you of times think being cool is important to you but a lot of the actions you make are probably for that reason something like that precisely you're like ah, i'm a nerd it's okay uh, you know I identify as a nerd that's a what a lot of people say today i'm a nerd it's okay cool but Yet a lot of times you are still trying to prove yourself to people. Things like that. Love it. Uh, number five, what person, book, or film changed your life? Well, one, one of each? Um, no. One person, book, or film? Okay. Uh, Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. Uh, that, that was a, that was a pff, explosion head emoji for sure. That first Matrix way back in the day, that was huge. That was massive. Good one. Uh, number six, if you could have your own billboard, what would it say? Wow. <laughs> um, call your mom. Love it. Number seven, dinner with anyone dead or alive? Who is it? Uh, Michelle Montaigne. M Michael Montan. Uh, he's a French guy. Uh, he's like a stoic slash Cicero expert, probably my favorite book of all time. He invented the essay. Uh, that dude for sure. All right. Number eight, if you weren't a clinician, what would you be doing? I'd be picking up cones on a soccer field probably <laughs> and yelling one touch, two touch, keep moving. <laughs> Soccer coach, probably. Okay. No, uh, number nine, where did you grow up? Where have you traveled? You already answered the first part, so. 
Yeah, not very much. One time I went to Amarillo, Texas, uh, up in the Panhandle. I traveled way up there. Uh, I've been to Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. I've been as far reaching as Paris, uh, Germany. No, nothing crazy, uh, honestly. Mexico City was fun, and sometimes I'll go to Austin. I'm pretty, I'm pretty straight, straightforward in that sense. I can't wait to hear your answer for that one, though. <laughs> okay, number 10, most memorable athletic accomplishment. Oh, dang. Um, man, in high school, I played a lot of soccer, and um, I played a little bit more defensively. But we were supposed to go to uh, – this is regionals before nationals, uh, made it to nationals. But we were in state, and we needed to get to regionals. And there was a couple minutes left in the game, and there was kind of a, it was a corner kick. And I poked it, and it was the ugliest goal I've ever scored in my entire life. That was a really good feeling. But uh, it mattered. It yeah. mattered. Uh, number 11, what do you admire most in others? <sighs> Them liking me. No, uh, I <laughs> like, uh, you know, uh, openness, a willing to, willingness to, to listen and conversate and admit that they're wrong and, and, and just kind of go through a, a longer conversation without stopping you firmly. A, a, a bit of openness, I guess I would say. Um, yeah. Number 12, first major clinical insight once in practice. <sighs> Well, it's kind of actually like that other one, how quickly people can change uh, when given the right input. Um, there are some things you can do to help people very quickly under the right circumstances. And sometimes those things don't work on other people, but I was like, whoa, they got better. And I had some influence in that. That was... Uh, number 13, most recent clinical insight. Oh, wow. Um, I learned in our first podcast from a guy named Bob that uh, tendons don't fully repair. And he used, uh, this kid used an idea, the idea of a donut and a hole. You can strengthen up the donut, but you can't strengthen up the hole around it. Maybe I didn't know that before, uh, or I did and I had forgot it, but I don't know. I learned a lot from you, man. Cheers. Cheers. And you should Cheers. also listen okay. to that first podcast if you haven't. Shameless yeah, plug. Just before this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go back. Uh, number 14. What is your dream automobile? Ooh. Well, it's probably going to be an FJ, FJ Cruiser. Um, there are so many different variations, but. 2010, right? 2010, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Dude, like a 86 cruiser, just rebuilt and refurbished. I'll just run over stuff. Those things are sick. All right, number 15. What's a book or author you recommend the most? Could be clinical or it could just be, yeah, anything. Oh, yeah, I say Leon Chaitow, honestly. There are a lot of people in my, this industry, I feel, do not have some of the fundamentals or the basics. It's good to be well-read in your, uh, your industry, as it turns out. And sometimes I'll say names like Chaitow, and they're like, I'll get a glazed look. I'm like, you need to know these people. You know, We learned a lot in school, mm -hmm. and there's some great stuff you can learn on Instagram. But you know, pick up one of his books. He's got a dozen of them. They're great. Yeah, awesome. Okay, 15, no, 16, favorite band in high school. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Number 17, most spontaneous thing you've ever done. Whoa. Um, ask my wife to be my girlfriend. She was my girlfriend. She, we were just dating at the time. And then I was just like, in the middle of the day, and I was like, oh, you, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I don't know where that came from. And I just asked her. No, she's my wife, but. <laughs> All right. Number, number 18, what's your alcoholic beverage of choice? Oh, man. For those of, of the age of 21. Of course. Um, gosh. Uh, Bud Light. I'm just kidding, man. I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding, bro. I almost I'm turned just, the podcast off. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. What's that beer that you told me to have when I was in Amsterdam? The triple um yeah i don't know the monks. there's a bunch of triples no the monks make the barrel oh, maybe, maybe vestmala vestmala no vestflaterin 
La Trap. Yeah. The Traps. The Trap. Tra- trapista. That La, was it. La Trap. Okay, that's from Holland. Trap. Nice job. The Trap. Yep. No, number 19. What's your favorite film? Oh, The Matrix. I already said that. Yeah. Damn. Number one. All right. Favorite film in the last year? Oh. Uh, uh, you, were never, you were never really here with Joaquin Phoenix. Mm. It, a little bit under the radar, but so good. I think that was two year, three years ago, but it, I, I saw I'm it this you. year though. I saw it this year. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. I think we're done. We did it. No. Number 20. Oh. Favorite thing to do with your wife, a date or travel destination or thing you like to do with her. Walk around Paris in the rain. That's it. Nailed it. Yeah. Voila. Voila. Awesome.